Right, welcome back, guys, to another Football Manager 2022 episode for our Gloucester City career, the Billion Pen Club. Um, we are currently in League Two. We've already done a little bit of the preseason, well, all of the preseason, and um, started the season already. Just a quick recap: we drew the two games there, um, won every other game since. One being the testimonial against Colchester, Skybet League Two, first league game against Exeter, we won three 0 we beat Bristol Rovers in the Carabao Cup first round on penalties, 5-3 um, I think it was. And then we won our next two games, 4-1 and 1-0. Only now we're back for Carabao Cup round 2, away from home against Southampton. So, what a draw. That's all I can say, what a draw. Um, we're probably going to get our asses handed to us, if I'm honest with you. Um... Before we get into the game, though, guys, we do have quite a big issue that I'm trying to sort out, but it's becoming very, very difficult to do. And that being, we don't have a team or we don't have a, a, an in depth squad. There is pretty much our, with the, set, with the exception of Carter in the attacking midfield, who will go in there now. Um, Advanced playmaker support. With the exception to him being there, the rest of this team is pretty much what it is. Only I'm not convinced that it's going to compete. Our left back isn't good enough. Um, he also wants to leave as our right back. And we've had an offer from uh, an MLS team, which is another problem. Sherring can play instead of uh, him purely because he's tired. See, central defender, go. Whatever that is. Whatever. I, I, it's just not going the way I want it to go. We've lost morale. You know, it's only average across the team, which I'm struggling to understand why or how that can be. Um. Finn back was a was a last minute sort of on loan player to rotate with Kyoso. Only Kyoso he hasn't gone yet, but he might. Again with Soji, he was just a, a he got potential four stars, but he was just a stand in to give Paul Mullen a rest now and again. Again on loan. So I have to say, guys, we're a little bit fucked, really. I mean. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give myself players or get myself players which can rotate. I don't want to bring star players in as such because they just throw their toys out the pram because they can't play. I mean, I guess the only way I get around it is by not promising them loads of games or loads of time. But unfortunately, this is our strongest side and I've got a horrible feeling, a horrible, horrible feeling that we are going to get our asses handed to us against Southampton. Um, so yeah. That is the problem we have. That is the problem we're facing. So stick around, guys, for this match against Southampton, followed by transfer deadline day. Player Burrows injured. Um, So, yeah, let's see if we can <laughs> let's see if we can do something reasonable, just reasonable. So, could we upset him? We beat Charlton and it was League One. We've got to 
be disciplined. They're all over us. He was offside. He was offside. What? Are you fucking for real? He was in front of everybody. That is hideous. Oh dear. Good football. Oh, it's the ball to Sheaf. He's got to finish it. Yes, let's have it. Max Sheaf is our star player. Come on, let's take it to him. Oh, I thought it was going to be two. In a matter of minutes. Oh, he's took it off him. Well, well intercepted by sharing to Garrett. Sheaf. Carter's got it still. Mullen. Francois to Allen. Mullen's played in Pierce. He's, he's going to have a dig, isn't he? Oh, you stupid boy. He could have played that across the goal then. I think we could have been looking at um, at least a shot on goal then. Come on, tackle him. Good stop. Stay on your feet. Come on. To Pierce down the left. Alan. France was overlapping. To Sheaf. Oh, he was lucky to get. A foot in then. Derek. Yes. Is he offside? Ref out flagged. Ah, oh, you wankers. What a load of bullshit. Our XG is not better than theirs, although we've had the same amount of shots and target. Oh, it's good defending from Fanaway. Mullins to Allen on the wing. Is he going to ball it in there? No. Nope. Francois to Garrett. Oh, that was easier than the first goal you had disallowed. You twat. Still, we're creating good chances. Oh, he's given it away. I thought Mullen was going to pull the trigger from the halfway line then. Oh, that's good football. Garrett crosses it into Carter. And then bombs it over the bar. Seven two. Better XG now. Come on. We can do this. I think we can do this. We are certainly playing better stuff than they are. Sheaf to Mullen. No, Mullen. Oh, he's offside. We've won it again. This is great defending. Our back four has been outstanding. Sheaf again, he's clear. Mullen. Yes, let's go. 2-1 up against Southampton.
Oh, they're playing some really good stuff, man. Francois to dig. Francois covering the centre backs. Challenge for the corners. Garrick. Oh, he's referee. Oh, there was no follow on from that. That was a good first half. We played really well in that half. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Good stuff. Yeah, I can settle for that. Oh, that's a great header from Garrett. Mullins through. Oh, he's pulled the trigger. Garrett. Oh, I thought he'd scored from the rebound. Francois to Sheaf. Carter. To Mullin. Sheaf's crossed it all the way across the goal to Allen. Who's hit the post? Fucking hell. Oh, now that might come back to haunt us terribly. That really might come back and haunt us really badly. Sheaf. Back crosses it into Allen. As far as Allen. Sheaf again on the edge of the box. Come on. Get it across. Allen, no. Point blank and he's hit it over the bar. Wow. Jesus Christ. We might really struggle here to hold this lead. Oh, they're through. Fuck's sake. All these fucking chances. Got fresh legs on now. We destroyed them on the XG. I can't believe that we're, we're drawing this game. Is it a replay or does it go to penalties? Straight penalties, isn't it? Oh, dear. So, uh, it's got to be them. Because their composure is. <laughs> Might regret that, but I think we're going to fucking blow it, to be honest. Come on. I can't see us winning this. I really can't. We won the last on a penalty shootout. Save it. Oh. Mullen. Let them two are fine. The rest of them worry me. Although their composure is pretty good. Am I supposed to... Fryer, yes! Let's go! See, his penalty taking is not as high, but he's got good composure. Oh. That's it then. I thought we was going to win it, but clearly not. I'll be very surprised if we win this. Good, great save by Fryer. If we score this, we've won. And it's a new signing centre-back who's got terrible penalty taking, but his composure is like 12. He just needs to hit the target. Come on. Oh, he went in! <laughs> the keeper got an hand to it and it went in anyway. And we just knocked Southampton out of the Carabao Cup as Gloucester City. Get in, let's go.
Let's go. On both the rounds on on um two two draw uh, sorry on penalties. But yeah, that was that was really good. Really, really good. Right, back to business. There's the schedule. We don't know who the third third uh, round team's gonna be. Hopefully somebody big. Somebody some one of the premiership boys. But we'll see. Anyway. Can I have a point? What league is Southampton in then? Oh, they're in the premiership. Oh, but they're currently bottom. Played two and lost two. We beat a Premier League side. Oh well. So we're away at Bradford next. Only we got to fucking sort this squad out. They're all knackered now, but we just haven't got long to sort it out. We got Boateng as backup centre midfield with Carroll, which I think we'll do this season. Whereas next season or next in January's transfer window, we need to sort that out. Mullins got cover with Soji, although that's not a it's not a great example of what I was looking for. It, it'll do. Um, Longstaff is not bad. Burrows is a replacement for Carr. Longstaff can be a replacement for Carr, but Longstaff can also play on the left or the right. Got cover on left back. He also hasn't gone yet. Um. Thompson was my actual new left back that I bought. So he'll slot back in instead of Pierce. In win wing back defend. So I feel like that adds another star to the to the pickings. Darlin scored the the winner. And he's Potential three and a half stars, ball playing defender. It's a ball playing defender. So a star wise ain't too bad, although they have dropped because he was up to four four stars, I think, or three and a half. These two were four stars. They've dropped. He was four stars and he was four stars. So we, we we've had a really, really good side. And I'm guessing that this level that they should be alright. I'd imagine we're going to end up with some sort of a recruitment scout thing before the transfer deadline day. Um, so, do we need to worry about it at this time? Ooh, it's a gamble for me. It is an absolute gamble for me. Um, yeah, there you go. I've got to sell him. I ain't going to be able to keep him because it's just going to make him fucking miserable. He's gone. Fuck. I need to sign a world-class right back. I mean, as best a right back as I can get my fucking hands on. I'm gutted he's gone. I can't believe he's gone. We've been promoted the last two seasons and we're top of the league division two. He could have come all the way for us and instead he's pissed off to the state. What a wanker. Ah, oh, there we go. So they've already come in with wing back right positions. But they're shit. They're fucking shit. If anything, Alvis is probably the best. And he wants a grand a week. His contract details. Twenty twenty four. Hmm. You know. Tough on that because three stars potential three and a half stars. He might be he might be amazing, mightn't he? Pace is good. Jumping reach is poor. First touch. 
pass in. Mm. Um, I'm going back right. So if you go short this and go wing back right. Oh, well, who's this? Would be a useful signing. The fucking premiership fucking player value at nine million. Rolston. Yeah, his contract's new though, isn't it? Yeah, his contract's 2026. Fuck. That would be one to have. So, I don't think that that's going to work. I think he's going to come back and say he's too new for the club. We could do that for one continue, couldn't we? And see how we get on that way. Da Costa. Oh, hello. Oh, he's available on free. Hmm. Get rid of that. You're not having fucking appearance fees for fuck's sake. You get paid to fucking play. Idiot. Okay. Go with that then. Yeah, see, not interested. Fucking that's annoying, that is. That is really, really annoying. Anyway, let's get this uh, transfer window open and then we can call it an end to this episode. Tell you what, counts down in hours. So we'll end the episode there. Get this sorted out. Try and get these pe the the positions replaced as we need to replace them. Um, get more people in on loan if we have to. And guys, I will see you for the next episode. I appreciate you watching. If you've watched it all the way through the episode, if you're not already please sub, guys, leave a like and a comment. And we will jump back for where are we now? There. We'll tell you what we'll do. We'll jump back for the Carabao Cup third round. We don't know who we've got, so we're jumping for that game and the game against Wrexham. I'll see you for the next one.